Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we are here with the transit of Mercury uh, which is already starting to show its effects in Gemini and uh, today we shall discuss this transit then the retrogression from 18th and also how this flow of Mercury will be within these nakshatras okay because uh, you can see here these are the dates as per uh, German time Ingolstadt so Mrigshira then tomorrow it is entering Ardra Nakshatra May 29th which maybe by the time you watch will be today and it will enter Punar Vasu on June 14th then again on 18th it will be retrograde then it again goes back to Ardra then it uh, goes direct on 12th July and then it will move forward from Ardra and enter Punar Vasu on 26th and then uh, on 1st August it enters Cancer and 4th Pada of Punar Vasu is in Cancer so finally it enters Pushya Nakshatra so we will not discuss Pushya tonight we will discuss a bit from before okay so we can discuss from Kritika then Rohini then Mrikshira or let's start with Mrikshira and Rohini alright and before this these are the dates so Mercury will be retrograde on June 18th uh, at 7 a.m. and uh, yeah this is Ingolstadt time Germany so then it will go direct on 12th July so for 25 days this motion will be there okay and then later in October November it shall go retrograde again and if you check this mercury transit uh, it's not coming here but I will click this here yes so these are the zodiac signs where this transit is so from 24th May uh, Mercury had entered Mithun Rashi which is Gemini and then it will enter on first Karka which is Cancer okay so this is uh, a quite long transit so May then uh, the entire months of June July and May so almost 9 to 10 weeks okay quite a significant transit all right so it entered 24th May to sign of Gemini so Gemini is the own sign of Mercury so uh, as I have said recently in one of my videos many people have asked me that currently if you see Jupiter Venus and Saturn these three are retrograde in the sky okay. but many people have told me that uh, they don't feel as if uh, these planets are retrograde okay so if I click go to today this is what you can see so you will feel that uh, many people told me that they have not they have felt as if no retrogression is happening okay so if you see here Jupiter Venus and Saturn this sign is there in drikpanchang.com this means they are retrograde okay but uh, we feel as if life is normal things are the way it should be and uh, it's going the way we expect okay but always remember mercury is the original lord of third house and sixth house this is something which people forget always what is third house third house is the house of displacement because it is 12th from the fourth house of stability do not forget that do not forget the third house and which other house does mercury lord mercury lords the sixth house which is the house of difficulties reversals challenges skills perfection virgo is perfection and mercury is getting exalted in this sign of virgo okay and then mercury gets debilitated in the sign of pisces which is the original 12th sign and uh, mercury gets dig bali in the ascendant in the lagna okay this is these are some things which you should remember so therefore whenever a transit 
uh, of a planet is happening in retrogression we, sh we should always wait till the time mercury goes retrograde because in the kalpurush kundli he activates the third house okay so when the third house is activated it's like uh, there is displacement occurring which means things are changing things are not the way they were to be or you could say the third lord is becoming retrograde so there is a new displacement which you did not expect therefore when mercury goes retrograde you will see uh, sometimes you will sign papers which uh, you will regret later why did i sign this or if you are going to get a ticket then make sure you are 100 percent sure of the dates okay because it can happen that you book some ticket now and before to till 12 july everything is fine then after 12 july you come to know that oh this trip only got cancelled so therefore you should be very cautious and very careful before announcing or declaring things before 12 july so 18 june to 12 july okay and then when mercury goes retrograde in gemini uh, you will see that these planetary retrogrades existing with jupiter and venus and saturn they will also start showing their results so which means you will see the houses which uh, jupiter rules in your chart venus rules in your chart saturn rules in your chart depending on your ascendant <coughs> something related to those houses will come back to the forefront and it can depend uh, on many factors including your dashas of course so ultimately what your dashas decide uh, that happens but you have to understand that mercury is retrograde is very crucial and even i have seen this mercury is today it is conjunct rahu in this mega shira okay in gemini if you see the mercury is in 6 degree and rahu is in 6 degrees okay mean rahu ketu i mean two rahu ketu is already in 5 degrees so that was like yesterday but anyways today or yesterday so you will not feel even the uh, results of the planets uh, which have changed nakshatras without moon and mercury why do i say moon and mercury because they are the fastest moving planets they give us a feeling see moon is the emotion and mercury is uh, the intellectual capacity so these two planets represent our inner programming basically how is our inner programming so sometimes what happens externally things are changing but we don't feel it unless we feel it internally but when mercury and moon are conjunct or mercury goes retrograde because moon never goes retrograde but mercury goes retrograde so when mercury and moon goes retrograde we actually start feeling that we need to do something uh, again even though things may be the way they are it may look the same but we will get that feeling we will get that push from inside that no we need to change things now and where is this retrograde happening so if you check carefully <coughs> So it entered Gemini on 24th, so almost 4-5 days back, evening of uh, 24th, so exactly 4 days. So what is Gemini? Gemini is the original third house. Gemini shows communication, it shows diversifying. Gem Gemini has a trait, it is known as uh, jack of all traits. Uh, some say it is master of none, some say it is master of one or two, so which means if somebody has a very prominent Gemini, you will see them talking too many things on too many different topics. But sometimes they may lack conclusion. But because Mercury is the lord of this sign, when he comes here, this becomes very good for versatile behavior. So therefore, the houses which Mercury rules in your chart, now you will get a lot of options to fulfill the desires related to those houses. Why do I say? Because Gemini is the original third house which is a kama house kama house represents desires so whichever house mercury rules in your chart whenever or i would say any planet not only mercury whenever any planet transits gemini you will suddenly feel that oh i am kind of you know getting some options to fulfill my agenda regarding the houses which that planet rules 
or you will get a lot of desires related to those houses okay yeah that's very surprising because mercury it can also happen if a planet transits libra or aquarius sometimes so therefore now when mercury has transited so suppose uh, mercury is your seventh lord you are sagittarius lagna or your pisces lagna and you are planning to get married if your dasha is agreeing then now maybe is a very good time for you to search a proposal or find somebody with whom you can get married this is just an example and mercury is very powerful when it comes to uh, gemini because mercury in gemini gives the strength to look both the sides which means uh, gemini is a dual sign like all the mercury and jupiter rule signs so mercury in gemini what happens is uh, because it is mercury's own sign so you can see all the pros and cons of your decisions so therefore this transit can be very beautifully uh, understood if you try to understand the decisions which you want to make regarding all areas of your horoscope not one or two areas regarding every area of your horoscope because mercury is the karaka for the 10th house so therefore uh, if your 10th house is very strong which means your atma karak sun or lagnesh or moon is in 10th or it's with the 10th lord or it's ruling the 10th then mercury's transits are very 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 crucial for your career front always because he is the karak for the 10th house so whenever the 10 the karak for the 10th house gets retrograde then you may feel that new new things are coming from uh, the past which uh, old things are coming from the past which you have to do it uh, again but in a different way but now because this mercury is going retrograde in gemini so you will see all things are coming back from the past but it is coming back with a different alternative uh, or i would say uh, it is coming back with a different agenda altogether so it can happen during this transit depending on your dashas that uh, you you were very clear regarding certain things you did them or you are planning to do but then when this retrograde happens you get a feeling as if what you are thinking now is not what you want that time Okay, because now you have many more options so so for example suppose uh, you wanted to uh, go to Vindavan from New Delhi okay so but now maybe uh, while going you uh, you see Mathura is there and then maybe from Mathura you decide oh I will not go to Vindavan now I will go to Agra first and then I will go to Vindavan again so this is just an example so there can be a sense of detour when this retrograde comes okay so therefore and uh, you, you should un understand the nakshatras also so let's go to the nakshatras so it is currently as of now uh, wow i am recording it at 11 third, third okay so so if you check uh, let's ignore mikshira and let's directly go to ardra so ardra uh, ardra is going to be active from tomorrow <coughs> so therefore currently it's in Mrikshira so Mrikshira uh, is also having two padas in Gemini and two padas in Taurus okay Rohini is totally in Taurus so Mrikshira gives this gives this quest for searching new options but you also find certain things when you uh, get new opportunities but you have to always understand that new opportunities always come with lot of struggles so now from tomorrow when mercury will enter ardra it will stay there for quite some time so for another 15 days okay then this is the direct motion of mercury in ardra okay so till 14th it will be in uh, ardra itself and on 14th it enters purabhasu so this is the direct motion of mercury okay in ardra nakshatra so therefore when mercury enters adra you will see that now you are able to see the different challenges and new opportunities which came uh, which came with the new options which mercury gave you when he transited mrigashira okay and what those challenges are and what are those opportunities that will of course depend on your dashas and then when it goes to punar vasu punar vasu has a trait of uh, 
perfecting something basically puna also has a trait of trying to do things uh, which you may feel that i cannot do or you know that i cannot do it to that extent but still you try because puna also is that uh, uh, bow and arrow so it's like you are stringing the bow to whichever extent possible and then after 4 days of entering punarvasu on 18th it will go retrograde so imagine punarvasu you are like uh, pulling the bow string so these 4 days 14 to 18th is like pulling the bow string okay and then on 18th imagine you are full with momentum and then on 18th you release it okay then what happens the bow goes back to where it was originally okay so these behaviors of mercury which i am saying now will give results specifically from 18th to 22nd uh, of you know from 14th to 22nd this these 8 days are most crucial for this transit okay these 6 days or 8 days or 7 days this one week is very 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 crucial for this retrogression this this one week will be the defining uh, feature and if you are aware on 15th approx sun will also enter gemini okay so that is the time mercury will be combust and then it enters ardhra again and then again you will have to deal with the challenges which uh, new opportunities brought around and then finally again it goes to punarvasu where you will again pull the bow the bow string and then you will finally release it on 26th okay and then on 1st august it will finally enter cancer which is the next zodiac sign so therefore i would say uh, this time from 14 to 22nd is the most crucial so whatever changes and uh, new things are about to come it will come during this time and as i said because gemini is a kama house kama sign therefore uh, you will have much more opportunities than you need sometimes okay or you think you need so therefore narrow down your options and understand that you cannot do everything you do not have to do everything and even if you do everything it doesn't guarantee you happiness okay so therefore the challenge of this transit is to understand that uh, the things that you need to do that you need to do at all costs but there are things which appear that you must do them so you must be able to segregate them into different categories like what is urgent what is important what is important but not urgent what is not urgent but important so you must categorize all the activities into these four categories okay because uh, sometimes things may be important but not urgent but sometimes things are urgent and also very important okay so you need to prioritize your life properly regarding the houses which mercury rules in the chart okay and from this retrogression you will start feeling the retrogression of other planets also because mercury will activate the retrogression because he controls the mind okay the intelligence is with mercury so the houses which jupiter saturn venus rules now is the time which uh, you will feel that i need to intellectually change those areas okay and i have already made videos on these transits so if you have not watched then please watch and also the eclipse is round the corner so i said this week is very crucial and on 21st you have the eclipse okay so the eclipse is in uh, mrigshira of course so therefore uh, watch out for this week okay uh, this will be all from my side if you uh, want a personalized consultation for this transit from me then you can always go to my website down in the description section of my videos and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with your family friends and colleagues and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him